Hi guys, this is your girl Stud. Um, tips on how I used to prepare for both my classes and tutorials when I was still a class attending student. Stay tuned. Hi again. So guys, for those of you that don't know me on a personal level, well, I'm a tutor at UJ. Uh, School of Tourism and Hospitality and I tutor one module once a week to plus minus 65 students so the reason I'm doing this video is because um, most of the time on campus not only the students that I tutor but um, general or normal students on campus I get asked the question how is it that I used to prepare for my lessons and also um, tutorials because one thing that people don't like express or don't like acknowledging is that when you're a student you don't have time you because you want to socialize especially first years you want to socialize you want to make friends you want to have fun you want to get the best of both worlds so you never have time to actually open your books so this is what I used to do. I'm not saying this is the only way that's there. I'm just telling you what is it that I used to do. And the reason I'm doing it is because I used to do it is because for me it was like the best, the easiest. I didn't have to stress myself or sit with the book for an hour just to prepare. Okay, number one. This is what I used to do. I, I, still, I still tell this to the students that I tutor that for every chapter, there are learning outcomes. That's number one. They are learning outcomes for every chapter. So you, there are people that prefer studying word for word, but they are learning outcomes. The learning outcomes, I always used them as my guideline. And what I used to do is that from the, from the learning outcomes, I used to make side notes of what I think the chapter will, or the, the guideline, or the outcome will talk, will be discussing. I used to write some of that. And then what I, I used to do after, is to go through the slides because the slides are not like the textbook okay but i understand there are modules where they don't post the slides before class so it could be a problem but if you know the next topic <clears throat> but for the for the modules where they paste or they post the slides i used to go through the slides as well to check if what i think or what i know is together with what's in the slide life. Number three, I use this. I still love YouTube videos. Me studying with a book is boring. It was boring. Like so, I used to watch YouTube videos if I know the topic and then take it from there. Which is a bonus, I guess. Is that discuss with your friends. If you have a topic already or you have the slides already, talk about it with your friends it always helps because they give you another direction or different explanation better than what you think okay and another important thing for everything take notes <laughs> sorry i'm loud take notes take notes take notes and then if you don't understand in class you can ask the lecturer because already you have ge you had general idea of what it was and then they explain and if you still don't understand you have your tutors me which one i prefer the most or i still use or using the most whatever is the youtube videos for me that's number one because i still do it even now if i don't know something i go to youtube but one thing that you should bear in mind is that not every video that's on youtube is like the real deal but for me someone who prefers seeing things than just reading so that you have a picture of something in your head youtube videos are the way and I would look specifically for those ones that are like less than five minutes because I don't want to be watching a video that's like 30 minutes. That's like being in class. No, why would I do that if I'm still going to go to class? Never. Anyways, <laughs> so that's what I used to do. Um, I hope that's helpful. And then if you have more questions or you want to ask more things, yeah, my numbers, DM me. If you know me or you see me on a Monday to Friday basis. Tell me face to face. So please don't forget to like, share, comment.